Hi everyone, it's Diane. I wanted to show you a journal that I just got in the mail. It was for a swap on Junk Journal Junkies and it was for um, children's book cover journal. So I just got this from my swap partner, Pam Dorsch, and I haven't opened it yet. I took it out of the package, of course, but I haven't looked at the goodies she sent and I haven't opened, she wrapped it in tissue paper, pattern tissue. Before I get into that, I wanna share some excellent news. I showed these um, advertising cards, um, antique advertising cards that I just got a few days ago at an antique market. I showed those to you on a different video and I told you I was going to make them a digital in my shop and I did. Um, Gail helped me. Thank you so much, Gail. So these are now a digital, three page digital in my shop and there are 12 cards on the pages, on those three pages. Um, and it's available in my shop and I already sold one. Yay, I'm so excited. So now I can go to town. It's gonna to take time, but I will, little by little, get a lot of my vintage items, postcards, um, receipts, and railroad ephemera, and linens, and laces, and all kinds of stuff I'll be able to put in my shop now, and I'm so excited about it. So go to my shop and check that out, and keep checking back, and I'll be adding more. So, all right, that's enough advertising for me. Let's get into my journal from Pam. She sent me an envelope of goodies. Now, I only sent her just a few items because I haven't done a swap in a while, but I remember when I was doing swaps more that they had said not to, not to um, send too many extras because some people didn't and then people felt bad. So, I'm sorry, Pam. I, I really appreciate the extras. I love getting a bundle of extras, but I only sent a few things. I don't remember what I sent, but I hope that you like your journal and whatever it is I sent. I know I put a couple things in anyway. So without any further ado, looks like she made this envelope and then wrapped it in string. And included some tiny little embellishments. I love these. These are great for little clusters and things. There's even a bit of napkin <coughs> decoupage to that tag. Thank you. And I love the little envelope that they're in too. Um, these are some tickets that it looks like she stamped on. How fun. That's something else I need to do. Love that. I love tickets. Um, got a little bit of trim here. Pale blue ruffled trim. And oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Very nice. Put that pin somewhere safe. Some tickets that she Mod Podge napkin to. I've been planning on doing that. Also, I wanted to cover some tickets with um, some of my vintage gift wrap and I just haven't tried it out yet. This is really pretty, thank you. Love that. It's a little tag, a little booklet she made. Oh, how cute, I love that long bit. What a great way to use <coughs> the long strips that you cut off of pages. And she tied it with string. There's a little glued on strip there. Thank you, I love that. That's a great idea. I'll have to make some of those. There's a um, coaster. Well, it's even got a little spot to put your lemon after you squeeze it. Um, a tag that she made. Spring tag. How cute. I love that chick. Very nice. I like that. Oh, look at the poppies. Decoupaged onto this piece of file folder, it looks like. Beautiful. Bright colors. That, I'm going to put that with my Wizard of Oz stuff. A paper um, bingo card. Very nice. I had some orange ones. I'm assuming I still have some. I sold a bunch of them, but I don't have the blue. 
Um, there's a tag made out of patterned cardstock and some collage, a little bit of eyelash trim. And, ooh, look at these pretty, pretty Easter tags. Spring tags. Very nice. And an envelope that she copy dyed and Mod Podged a little piece of napkin over a barcode, it looks like, and two windows. I'll have fun playing with that. Lots of good goodies, and I haven't even gotten into the journal yet. This is a um, beer cap, beer bottle cap, Boulevard Brewing Company, Kansas City. And it's on this little bottle cap ornament. And she had that clipped to the string. She had this tied up with this pretty cord that I can reuse. <clears throat> and sewing pattern. I love that washi tape. So when I do a swap, I don't look at what other people send in because I want to be totally surprised. I have no idea what journal Pam made. She, I know it's a little golden book because her note said that this is her first little golden book journal. That's all I know. Oh, she got sent some more goodies, some more napkins. Oh, I've had this in a small square size, but not this size. Do what you love, love what you do. I have a rubber stamp that says that. Pretty. Oh, it's baby deer. Pretty and bright napkins. They're fun. I'll play with them. So it's the Eloise Wilkin book called Baby Deer. I mean, she's the illustrator. She didn't write the book. There's buttons on the spine. Pretty butterfly fabric. Little corners, metal corners. Inside is looks like a piece of vintage fabric that it's trimmed with baby rickrack. That's pretty. And there's a card that she collaged on. It's got some trim behind it. It's pretty. And a another journaling card. She tied it with lavender lace. I don't think I pointed that out, but you probably saw it. There's Kool-Aid dyed paper, I think, with a stamp of a tricycle. Isn't that cute? Some pretty washi tape up there. It's part of the book page, I think. Pretty stamp. Well, this little fold-out journal card has a tiny bit of fabric and a little digital image, I think. It's got a baby bottle on it. There's some of that blue lace that she sent me. This is a sack with butterflies on it and it's got some fabric. It's a gusseted sack, but she, <clears throat> see the gusset up here? She glued this gusset shut with some fabric in, in between. That's really a cute idea. There's a flower. Oh, how pretty. I love that stencil. Now, I don't know Pam. I don't know if she has a YouTube channel. I love that picture. She stamped those birds. That is so pretty. Tiny. I love tiny envelopes like that. There's some tickets. They look like vintage tickets. And a couple of tiny little tags. This is fun, Pam. So as I was saying, I don't know her at all, and I don't know if she has a YouTube channel or an Etsy shop or anything. I'll have to check it out. A batting record for Jake Wood of the Detroit Tigers. Cool. There's a little um, fabric tab there. Oh, a ticket from the circus. This is vintage lined paper. 
There's a little tag, probably again made with a cut-off strip, and it's got fabric stapled with a blue staple. Where did this come from? I thought I pulled it out of here, but that's not a pocket. Oh, I bet it was in here. <laughs> yeah, it was in there. Okay, so it's got a little piece of fabric there as a belly band, and it doesn't, it complements this illustrated page, and it doesn't compete with it, so that's nice. Oh, well, here's the answer to my question. Here is her business card, the Vintage Magnolia. Um, she's the proprietress and creator. She lives in Kansas, southern in the Midwest. Well, it I don't know if that's an it doesn't say Etsy on it. It just says the vintage magnolia. So I will still have to investigate. There's a little doily that's been folded and there's a ticket here. Look at the little circle on that. These are beautiful embellishments that you've added. There's a die cut flower cut from floral paper. One of the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Well, it's a pair of them. And a book page that she put gesso on so I can write on it. You've done a wonderful job, Pam. She copy dyed this page. This looks like maybe a stencil of bricks. There's a little tiny Tim Holtz girl sitting there on that embellishment. The supreme happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved. Victor Hugo. And there's a fabric pocket here. And a tag. It is so fun and interesting to see how other people um, make embellishments and decorate journals. That's one thing that I liked about swapping. This one has a metal tab on it. There are two, two tuck spots on this page, one up and one down. This one is a double one. And this one is just a little one, and it's got a vintage um, milk bottle cap. And this is from the book, Baby Deer. Little tiny fabric tab there. I like that. I make my tabs bigger, so I really like those little ones. It's just little things like that that like, you think, oh, I didn't think about making them little like that. Another book page that's gessoed. But it's so pretty and delicate. I love it. I have that washi tape, I think. Something very similar, anyway. There's a Victorian spoon sticker. that opens out so I can write on it. It's a belly band. Here's the other side of that bag. It's got two signatures looks like recipe card, a tag. Oh, it's got a diaper pin on it. How cute. Just some fun things hanging on that tag. Do they still make diaper pins or is that a vintage one? Oh, this is felt with buttons. How cute. There's uh, one of her decoupage pickets. And I like how you take the trimmings of the book page and add them as a border decoration. That's a really good idea. And I love this wavy cut there. Do you have scissors that do that? This has sparkly washi tape or something on the edge. There's a couple of acetate frames that I can use in the book. That strawberries? I think they're raspberries. Yeah. 
pretty. There's a little key hanging on a bulb pin with a tiny piece of fabric and a little button. And here's the second signature. It's a little a set of little tags. They're tied up together. Ooh. Look how she embellished that. She put glitter glue, but it's big. I don't know. I don't know if it's big chunks of glitter. It feels chunky, but she put glitter glue all around the bassinet and then added this pearl ribbon trim to the crossbar. There's a heart doily. Uh, she hand stitched this ruffled fabric on. There's a clear acrylic rocking horse. Isn't that cute? Can you see it? And some paper to write on. You've really given me lots of writing space in here in, in addition to all of the uh, embellishments. little pocket back there. That opens up for writing. The kind of parent I want to be. My children are grown. Maybe I should change it to the kind of parent I wish I had been. <laughs> we all have uh, different ways we do it now, right? That's interesting. I like that. that. The speckled pattern of colors on that. There's a balloon stamp. Your childhood. I could write that right on that. I had a good childhood. I love matte paper. Again, there's a little metal tab. There's a embellished paper clip and an envelope made out of a book page. It's got Mod Podge napkin and some lace. Huh, I wonder what this card came from. It says, Small Bites. Oh, baby. But on the back it says, Meantime, heat the oil in a large skillet over high heat until hot but not smoking and then it's about artichoke. Hmm. Oh, it opens. Aha, it opens. So there we go. Fried baby artichokes. It's a recipe. That is so cute. This where it was. Here is the three little kittens, or no, not the three little kittens. It's Beatrix Potter, Tom Kitten probably. Fun. This is great. I, I love, I got quiet because there's just so much to look at. I'm just looking at everything. Stamp. was tied and came untied. I'm not sure, but it looked like it had been tied. That is a unique way to embellish a card.
There's a ribbon here, and there's a flower glued to the tail of the ribbon. How cute. I love how everybody does their own things and come up, comes up with their own things. There's a recipe card that's been coffee dyed. And there's a clear acrylic um, turquoise colored pacifier. That's really cute. Another circus ticket, a couple of them. There's another Victorian sticker. A belly band made out of a strip of the cutoff. I think it came right off of that page right there. And again, we've got the glitter around the bassinet. And on the back, it's a card that opens, um, and it's got an image here. Looks like one of those Margeline Baston images from Hallmark. And it opens up, has her signature, and there's a pocket here. Some cards and a tag in the back. Love it. Thank you so much, Pam. This is a really fun journal. Um, I love what you did. I love your ideas, and I really had fun swapping with you. I hope you enjoy the journal that I sent you. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.